Watch out if you're driving in Tiger. There's a dangerous traffic situation developing on the ramp that goes from Interstate 5 to Highway 217. We're talking about an expansion joint that is pulling apart and it's become uneven. That's leading to a rash of accidents. Unit 8 has been investigating this situation all day long. News Channel 8's Wayne Haverly joins us live near that ramp. So Wayne, what is ODOT doing about it? Well, right now, the first thing they did is they put up a reader board uh, this morning warning drivers to slow down. You can take a look at that there as drivers are exiting uh, I-5 there. There's a reader board telling people to obey the 35 mile per hour zone. However, they still won't say exactly how they're going to fix this problem. And a top attorney tells me the state really needs to do more. This is the problem. ODOT says 51,000 cars go over this uneven expansion joint every day. ODOT crews have long known the ramp is a trouble spot. That's why the advised speed is 35 miles per hour. However, after a rash of accidents, they noticed it was raised. We can't say what needs to be fixed if we don't know what needs to be fixed yet. We took a ride over this problem spot with ODOT's Don Hamilton, who says crews are still working to get a handle on the situation. They did install a reader board asking drivers to slow down to 35. The signs are not adequate to let people know the danger they're facing. Uh, we see, you know, exit signs all the time that say 40 miles an hour, but you're safe at 60. Uh, this is a uniquely dangerous situation, and people don't realize it. Attorney Greg Kafori says the state could be liable for accidents here. He says the state is knowingly allowing people to drive in a place that's more dangerous than anticipated. Can you guarantee that that's a safe speed going through there at 35? Motorists who are going less than 35 miles an hour uh, shouldn't have any problems. Well, the state's considering several options here, including somehow fixing that joint, which may be a pretty complicated situation, but that's something they're looking at. Also, what they're looking at is maybe uh, resurfacing that area of roadway, creating more traction there. Uh, they say if they do any work there, when they do that, it'll be outside of commute times. Back to you.